Riders, welcome back to the Ask m and series. Let's hope we have all the answers. You say that every time. I sure do. <laughs> um, we have more questions from all of you, so we are going to answer them today. Do you have a favorite bar slash restaurant in SAC? Mm. This is pretty depressing because <laughs> RIP the press was our that go-to. That was our go-to for sure. So I feel like we're lost a little bit at this time. We do always end up at Zocalo's patio. Though, yeah, I mean, Zocalo so. is always a good time. I love Mexican food. Yeah, for sure. Most used emoji. <laughs> That's hard. Probably the orange heart. Oh my god, I was actually going to say that. Really? I was like, whenever we use the heart, it's always an orange, obviously. My but you know what? The one that I've started using more recently is the like smiley face with the uh, star eyes. I feel like this conveys, I'm not sure what it conveys, but I've, I've been using that one a lot. You're a star. Yeah. How does it feel to be badass female business owners? How does it feel, Michelle? I was going to say, how does it feel? Ooh. <laughs> I mean, how does it feel? It, it's hard. <laughs> I will say that. Um, I think what people don't realize about owning your own business is that it's nonstop. So, and, but this business actually is open seven days a week 365 days a year yeah and every day <laughs> yeah every day so it really is non-stop while we do give ourselves sunday and monday technically off it's never actually off you know i mean but obviously the joys of owning your own business like do far outweigh all of that yes. i mean we have a flexible schedule we're able to you know work from coffee shops and we mm -hmm. get to interact with a bunch of different people yeah so it you feels know. really good and fun but I, at the end of the day yeah i mean it is very hard work but it's not for the faint of heart 100 <gasps> when you aren't running team ride what do you do to stay relaxed and or for fun i would say we really like to go out to dinner um, that's probably our number one favorite thing to do. Yeah. A good happy hour. I We're love happy always hour. Always hungry around 3.30 p.m. So yeah. It's great. Love going out to dinner. I do not like to cook. So like if you want to go to dinner, let's go. But I'm if I don't much available. feel like putting on makeup and doing my hair, then I just love that's to the biggest chill. Problem. Chill and watch a movie on my couch. Yep. Yeah. Same. Beach, mountain, or city? I hate to be that annoying person who no, says. No, I'm gonna say the same thing. Different strokes for different. Yeah, there times is a time year. for each place. Yes. I would never say no to any of those. Are there any fellow entrepreneurs, locally and otherwise, that you look up to or inspire you? Whoa, <laughs> you do you have the answer? Do that one's answer? tough. For me, I like to follow people that do pretty much the opposite of what we do. So I feel like a lot of interior design people are my jam just because they bring me a lot of joy. So in that sense, there okay, are no. entrepreneurs I, that I, I really want to think to. of an answer for this. Okay, so I do have two. Oh wow. Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx. I have re I watched her masterclass recently and I just find her to be really inspiring because She's female and like literally started her company with five thousand dollars in the bank, and now she's she was at the time the youngest billionaire, self-made billionaire. That's so um, impressive. Very cool. Yeah. Um, and then I do love a Gary Vaynerchuk. I think he is just. I'm a big energy person, and I just love his energy. Um, and just I just think Michelle he's has smart. always really been into him. He, no, no, no. He I went I, on a hiatus. <laughs> I did. But then I had this five hour long drive by myself and I started listening to his podcast. And he's smart. I'm sorry. I don't care. Like, I think Elena would actually love him. She wants to pretend she doesn't. But there is so much to be learned. Oh, just, by he doesn't him. believe in work life balance at all. His favorite word is hustle. And, like, that is not a life well lived. But that, but there's so, so much no. more to be learned. She likes to just fixate on that one part, and I know that's like I mean, part that of his like his core value. Whole core value system. But there's so much more than that. You have to get past. No, that. I mean he's obviously very smart and very successful, and, and yay, I think, Gary. And, and I just but. think the way he delivers his messages are so entertaining. 
We're fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a trip you went on or place you visited that you would recommend people travel to and why? Well, like an easy one that's local would be Healdsburg, California. Right, and I got married. If you have not traveled to that little town, it is the cutest. It is such a gem. It's a hidden gem. So Healdsburg, California. But if you want to get like a little bit pretentious, I just went on my honeymoon to Italy. And I recommend the entire country. So just go, say yes. Yeah, I think mine would be um, local. I would say Lake Tahoe. I feel like a lot of people you hear come to visit California and Lake Tahoe is a place they don't hit. And that to me is shocking because, because it is because they don't have a big airport. Amazing. You know, Reno. Okay. A lot of people don't want to go okay. to Reno. And then I was going to say kind of pretentious Aspen. We um, had Elena's um, what's called bachelorette party there this last year and it was a blast. Did that. What is one tangible item you can't live without? Gosh, I mean, I feel like there are so many. I mean, I'm gonna take my phone like out of the equation because for me, I would say my phone. But I would say maybe next best thing for me would be like my cordless Dyson. I love vacuuming. I thought you were gonna say your Ember coffee mug. I know, I mean, that's a toss up. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of things that I like. For me, it's definitely my water bottle. Yeah, I've been mean, lost How without you. my water bottle. It's Hydrated, not like a, love it's that. not a health thing. It's just, no, you it's get a cough, hydrated. you need some water. It's just my <laughs> water bottle. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to Ask Emily. That's all the questions we have for today. See you next time.